Hey guys, Josh here, and this is episode 6 of How to Harvest EMC and Tech It. So, right, I seem to have hit a button, an F key. There we go, F8. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, yeah, so this episode is going to be about power flowers, which are these, like, this array of things I've got in front of me. Let me just turn my uh, render distance up. I just play like that because it's faster. <laughs> so, if the chunks would load in, there we go. You can see there's just an array of these things. There's actually more here, but they're taking ages to load. So, this machine, in fact, actually, in fact, makes a oh, at max efficiency, I think. It creates 136 diamonds per minute, and, you know, that's two, and, um, you know, 2.2666 recurring diamonds per second, which is pretty huge. So, uh, yeah. I think the efficiency might have gone down after I put these on top, but I'll explain why I did that in a second. So basically, uh, I'll show you how this works. You have, right, these things, these are energy collectors, and what they'll do is they create EMC from light. So, you know, the sun, that's the highest light you can get, and it's creating this much. So, uh, the reason, so the reason why I put the glowstone on is at night, it won't work if you, you know, because there won't be any light shining on it. So you put this on, and although it's, you know, one less light level than the sun, you still get more, uh, well, you still get a lot of EMC at night, so it actually works out better this way. So I'll show you how to make these things now. What you want to do, let me just move over here a bit. Right, you need energy collectors, uh, glowstone, and these relay MK MK MK3s, and then to make the diamonds, you need to get an energy condenser, which is just basically what you need for all EMC things. And you're going to need a diamond to put in there. This is just a basic, you know, one uh, generate, you know, one uh, like power flower. That's what these are called. Well, what they're generally called. You got to call them energy collector arrays, etc. But yeah. So, just how to build just one of these is, first you've got to place down your energy condenser, so I'll place mine just here. Right then, these are antimatter relays, and basically what you, when you put these around here, uh, it will transfer all the, uh, say you put an energy condenser here, uh, the energy this, the EMC this will make, hit, uh, this, this makes, will be transferred into these and it will relay into here. And this basically means, you see it's building up in here and here. And then when I put an item in here, it'll start getting transferred into there. So, let us let me just reset the EMC inside by smashing that quick. There we go. Uh, so, what, this basically, they add the amount of EMC, they add more EMC as the, like, the EMC from here passes through them. So, it increases the amount you get per energy condenser. And it also increases the amount of, uh, like, uh, energy collectors you can have per energy condenser so you just want to place them all around these uh, you know these purple energy uh, you know, antimatter relays like that then you want to place them on top as well so like this then you want to finally put one here there put one there and put another one on top so let's just so we have still have access to the uh, what's it <sighs> what you call the energy condenser that's what I'm looking for you, uh, just so we still have access to dig a hole under here and you can look in here and get you know your stuff out of here so now we've got all these on we need to put a uh, you know what's it glowstone on these so they work at night so like this or you know if so they work indoors as well so i'm not sure these ones on the side are necessary because i think it just goes on what light level is on top of it but i just like to put them on there because it makes it look better and just to be sure as well so uh, just put them along here and also, if you can't place them on here and they keep opening it, just hold shift and right click and it will place it. In case you didn't know that already. You know, the Mojang have actually added that in for the next snapshot as well. Uh, which is, they've, I think they've taken a leaf out of mods books, which is actually really good. So basically you can place signs and, you know, item frames and levers and stuff on chests, dispensers, furnaces, etc. So, back to the power flower. We've got one set up fully here. Let's put a diamond in here and see how fast it makes them. Uh, as you can see, it's actually incredibly fast. Uh, apparently, I've heard it's one every 14 seconds, which well, I think would kind of make sense for the amount I'm getting from there. So, you know, we've already got two. Uh, you know, three now. So, right, we'll just leave that to make them. 
So I'm going to show you how to set up like an array of them like this so we can pump them all back into one energy condenser and just get loads. You know, I'll just uh, show you quickly. Let's get a red matter. Quick red matter, wherever it's gone, there it is. And we can just place it in here and it'll start creating red matters. This stuff is worth 400,000 DMC. This is some huge DMC. There is one better, which I'll show you in the next episode, but this is good enough for now. So let's just stack them all here. This is huge, as you can see. And, you know, these are really useful. The tools you can make from them are amazing, especially the pickaxe. I haven't tried the other ones yet, but still, the pickaxe is awesome. Because it, it just, you can right-click on an ore vein, and you just get all the ore from there. So you don't have to spend ages mining out uh, mining out coal veins, which I love. So now, uh, let's just set up four of these next to each other. So like this. Uh, collector, relay, relay, re oh, one place, relay, relay, uh, condenser. And we just need to place these all around here. Collector, 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 collector. Go more collectors, collectors everywhere. So many diamonds, it's unbelievable. Although it's yeah, I think I think you could probably describe the next one I'm going to do is as past unbelievable, because it's just it's, you get insane amounts. I've I've got you know you get stacks of red matter, you know, and that's not even leaving it running for ages like that. And you don't need it; it doesn't take up nearly as much space. So right, let's put glowstone all over it. Come on, right here we go. <laughs> That's the only problem about these, you just gotta take it it takes a while setting them all up. Also, this is actually end game content. This is these are really expensive, just so you know. So you'll need a lot of resources to start with. These are seven hundred thousand DMC to start with. Those are six hundred thousand. And no, you know, those are forty two thousand. So just imagine the number of them on there. It takes a lot of the you know, you know, a huge amount of uh like condensers and no well, a huge amount of collectors and relays and stuff and then it takes a huge amount of EMC to make them so yeah I'll just show you how you make these now so you need a red matter and a collector and glowstone so red matters that and then you need that and then that so yeah it's just loads and then to make the energy collector you need another piece of dark matter which is more like that and then these are you know red matter again <laughs> you know, a turnless fuel, which is basically worth a diamond. Yeah, it's huge, but it's so worth it once you've got it. It'll pay for it, it'll pay itself back, you know, so quickly. So, uh, let's just, I'll just line out the redstone here. There we go. Well, not the redstone, glowstone. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I meant. Right, so put that there, there, there. There we go. Put an energy condenser in the middle. Relay, 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 relay. Wait, oh, didn't place it. Relay. There we go. Let's put these collectors. Collector. Wait, damn it. Not there. There, 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 and there. And the ones on top. There we go. Let's just finish off the glowstone. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll skip the last one. I should probably have done that for the rest of them. But now you know exactly how to make one. You know. I've, I've gone over it quite a few times. I'll, I'll say I meant to do that. Right, uh, I'll get back to you guys once I've done the fourth one, because it's going to take a while. <laughs> well, it's probably getting quite boring. Hey guys, I'm back, and I've finished the fourth one, as you can see. Uh, yeah, so just that took a while, quite a while to set up. Just imagine all of them. That took me a while, like, ages. Right, let's just set it back to day, because I don't like night. It's depressing. Uh, yeah, so, but as I've said so many times before, it's really worth it. So what we need now, we need, you know, timer, you know, some red alloy wire, some redstone... And we're going to want to get a filter. So there we go. Oh, oh, damn it, spelled it wrong. Oh, yeah, we also need a... Wait, well, I can get rid of these now. We also need a uh, some redstone tubing. So like this. Red, oh, spelled Damn it. <laughs> I keep turning numlock off and on by accident. You won't be able to see that, though, because uh, for apps early records. Uh, uh, Minecraft, well, tech it in this case. Right, so what we want to do, you need to dig onto here so we find the energy condenser, like so. Then, actually, we're going to need a screwdriver as well. Sorry about that. Uh, right, we need the, actually, sonic screwdriver probably works, but I'm just going to use a regular screwdriver in case. So, right, uh, you need to place your, 
what's it, uh, your filter here, and you need to just right click it with your screwdriver, uh, damn it, I went past it, until you get that, you know, you get the hole at the bottom. Then you need to, let me just patch that up, uh, pipe this along here, like so, oops, and then just we'll just leave it here for a second so we've got space to get into this one. So like this, uh, right, let's put that there, and let's do it like that. Is that the right way up? It might be. Yes, it is. Right. Uh, dig back. Up. Well, get back up and bring this along here. Right now, uh, place this here and bring it up to here, and then pipe it out to an energy condenser. Right. Here's when we're going to put our diamonds and stuff. Diamond. We go. Actually, no. It's already making diamonds. We'll make. We'll condense it to red matter. Oh, whoops, let me double click that again so it doesn't make everything go black that it isn't, because I don't like that a bit either. Not racist or anything, wasn't trying to sound racist, etc. Right, uh, so now we need to get this, uh, yep, like this. So dig under here and do the same for the other two. Oh yeah, if I'm a bit snuffly, uh, it's because I'm ill. Yeah, <laughs> I did just sniffle a bit there, sorry about that. Ah, go, keep going past it. There we go, right, uh, get our tubing along here, Ooh, missed that one at the back, there we go. Now, uh, in case you didn't know, what these filters do is when they're powered by redstone, uh, it will pull an item out of a chest, and you can choose which item you want to pull out by just putting an item in here. So if I put that there, it would only pull diamonds out, but there's diamonds in there anyway. So basically, if you don't put any there, it'll just pull any item out, and since we have only have diamonds, that's, you know, the thing we want, we don't really need to worry about uh, changing it to, uh, uh, what do you mean, you know, putting an item in there to make sure it's just diamonds, because it is only just going to be diamonds. So, right, bring this up, pipe this along to here, bring this across, and right, now we need this time, this is where the timer comes in useful. Right, this, you just want to set it to the lowest possible, so it just, this will just keep pulling it out. As soon as they're created, it'll just, this will just pull them out, well, faster than you can see them, you know. I don't, I'm not even sure they appear in the energy condenser, it pulls them out that fast, so watch. As soon as I put that there, especially this one, uh, which I've put them in, a ton of diamonds going to come out, although I forgot to put diamonds in these other ones. So, one second. Oh... Oh, this may be difficult. Right, uh, let's get another relay out. Relay, there we go. I need to d knock this out so I can put a actually put a diamond in it. There we go. Put that there, and we'll just replace this like so. There we go. Right, uh, let's get under these ones as well. <laughs> I should have remembered this. You need to put diamonds in here if it's going to actually make something. Oh, damn, didn't need to do that. Uh, knock that out, put a diamond in there, and replace it, whoops, need to shift click, uh, there we go, right, let's, I'm going to fill this one in, I'll fill the other two in in a second, right, let's, no, and finally let's do it for this one, oh, damn, 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 uh, right, replace that, <laughs> misclicked, right, let's go down here, down here, down here, down here, knock this one out, and put diamond in. Right, just as I'm getting efficient as uh, p placing these diamonds in, I finish. It's basically life, isn't it? As soon as you get good at it, you, you don't need it. So, uh, let's fill these in, because I don't need access to them anymore, and I'm kind of OCD. Yay, OCD, right. Right, let's do this, and uh, this one. One, two, three, four. There we go. Go. Oh, damn it, I keep placing that one. So now, as you can see, there's just a constant stream of, well, not constant stream, but, you know, there's visibly quite a few diamonds running through these pipes, coming at even intervals, basically. And as you can see, we've already got a red matter created. So you can extend this as much as you want. This is a just, this is pretty big, I have to say, but you could just, you could make this, you could make another four of these, so 16 times four, 64, you know, you have 64 of these, that'll just create huge amounts, you know, that'll be, four, that'll be eight, well, more than eight, it'll be like ten diamonds every second, 
that would be pretty insane, I have to say. That'll be 80,000 EMC every second. But, yeah. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can make use of it and make tons of diamonds. Because they are really good. And, uh, you know, subscribe for the next uh, episode. Because that will show you how to create even more than this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.